Here we are going to look at a construction of an ellipse when we have been given its major axis and minor axis and we will be basing this construction on the parametric equation of an ellipse which is x equal to a cos theta and y is equal to b sin theta where theta is the parameter which is varying. This is very similar to the parametric definition of a circle which is x equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta where r is a radius. But this difference is understandable because ellipse is after all a elongated or a flattened circle. So its extent in x and y direction will differ. So that is why we are having two different numbers or amplitudes a and b for this trigonometric functions. This trigonometric functions cos and sine also suggest that x and y coordinates are some kind of projections. One is a horizontal projection and one is a vertical projection because cos and sine are corresponding to the adjacent and opposite sides. So to say we will be taking two lengths a and b but they will be pointing in the same direction indicated by this theta. So imagine a ray. On that ray we will take two points one at distance a and the other at distance b from the ray's origin. And then we will be projecting these two points, one in the horizontal direction, one in the vertical direction. So wherever they intersect, that point will have these coordinates. So naturally that will be the point we are looking for. And then we will change this theta because that is a parameter, so we have to vary it. So then we will change theta, in other words, we will rotate the ray and again do the same thing all over again. Let us see this in action. So here is our ray and these two points are the points we are going to project. So one we have projected vertically, the other we have projected horizontally and at this uh, point they are intersecting. So this will be our point on the ellipse. Now let us try changing direction of this ray to get one more point and one more and so on. And like that if we keep doing for theta running from 0 to 360 we are going to get a ellipse. Let us convert this into a construction. So this construction would start with two circles which are concentric and whose diameters are the major and minor axis. This will quickly give us the two lengths. Then we are going to draw these set of arbitrary radial lines. You can draw as many as you want, more the better. So these are nothing but the different positions of our rotating ray. And we are, because of the circles, we have already marked the points on the ray. Then we will be marking these points, just numbering them, so to say. And then we will be projecting them horizontally and vertically like we did before. And wherever the projectors meet is going to be the point on the circle. So these points we are going to draw with a smooth curve, which is our ellipse. Let us just recap this quickly. So we are going to start with two concentric circles with diameters equal to major and minor axis, draw arbitrary radial lines, mark their intersections with the outer circle, mark their intersection with the inner circle, then project the corresponding intersections horizontally and vertically till they meet and these points of meeting intersection points will be the points on circle so connect them with a smooth curve.